it's still standing up with while I'm sitting down. It's Craig Shoemaker, <laughs> but that's the name of it. That's the name of our show. It's still standing. We're all still standing. We're here. We're present. We're available. And I have two guys that I love greatly. I was on their podcast. Now it's about time I got a second microphone and brought them on here. It's Cam and Roman. And we need to check out what we're going to talk about. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's hit it. Are we on action? <laughs> this is this is the Ah, there we go. He said it in a French accent or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey guys, always great to see you. Really, you I love hanging out with you guys. We did yeah. a podcast together. We did. And mm. I don't think either one of us had heard of the other. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. The thing was a big surprise for us. Yeah. We got present. We got active with one another and connected. Yeah. And ever since then we've been saying, Hey, let's go hang again. And today we're doing that. Yeah, we did. We went to have we had lunch. Uh, th- well, that's true we, too. We, we but did. I mean, like lunch. hanging on a podcast, on a podcast. Yeah, which yeah, we had yeah. not done since I did yours. Yes. Yeah. Wait, but you know what? The hold up is couldn't get a second mic. <laughs> and that's, I, I, we we get it. We it was get a technical it. issue. Yeah. We Imagine understand. Us, we had a bigger group. Yeah. So we, had, <laughs> yeah. we started with one mic, and then yeah. we went to what five mics. Five mics. Five. And then so crazy. when we were doing dormitainment. Right? Uh-huh. Is that what it was called? Dormtainment. Dormtainment. Yep, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I bought another vowel. Dormtainment. Yeah, dorm, yeah you, you made it harder. <laughs> Before we get in there, we yeah. have a question for you. You do? Yeah. All right. He's going to reverse it on me. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we drove out here. Yeah, okay. yeah. About you want tw- gas money? <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Craig, we need gas I'm, I'm nervous where this is going. <laughs> I'm nervous. This is not in my show notes. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, 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 no it's nothing. start right off with it's a It's nothing bad. We got a question We drove out here. That didn't start. That was not a good start because I already feel guilty that you had to drive this far. No, Although, that's fine. No, no, no. You're not that You're not far. Okay, go but ahead. interesting question. What's that? What airport do you fly out from way up here? Yeah, because this is Cause a long way There's no here. way that everyone up here is going to LAX. That's ridiculous. Yes, that's where I go. Wow. LA has... Of course I, 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 I want a petition. We need another major airport yeah, we do. in the we, Valley area. Yeah, yeah, we, we just well, there's for Burbank. Us. I do Burbank that's now. Small, and then. No, we need, small. we need major. We need a major, we need a major airport. airport. Well, we so can we turn Camarillo into that. Yeah, yeah. Like, knock some homes down. You don't need to live here. <laughs> you I know you have get out of here. <laughs> do you know they have a whole other weather pattern in Camarillo? No, I do. It's, it's literally the number one weather in all of the country. But they Literally. don't have an airport. But they Literally, a... but they do have a small airport. Okay. No, we, need a yeah, yeah, we need a major airport. We need a major airport. Look, my theory is if I'm picking you up from LAX, I got to love you. Yeah. I gotta <laughs> if I don't love you, yeah, I'm I not love coming you. to get you. You either yeah, got to yeah, be yeah. my wife, kid, or parent. <laughs> and then parent is ma- parent may be optional. It, may, it might be, depending not on how Not a long. girlfriend. This is wife. a sore subject for me. I have to uh-huh. tell you, this brings me to a terrible story. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the road. I can't believe you're mentioning this. I went on the road, and I my deal with my wife and kids were like, I work hard for you. Mm-hmm. The least you can do is come pick me up at the airport. <laughs> That's my deal. Yeah, right? that makes sense. Yeah. Now, if I'm going to, daddy going to get back on a plane and go somewhere else to Wingaloogie, Michigan, and yeah. go mm-hmm. do my thing yeah. to bring back money yep. so you can go join a sport yep. and you can go yep. join your yoga class yep. and everything else. You want that? That's, no. That's all I asked yeah. for, right? Came back from the road, New York City. I had just done the Sherry Shepard show, mm-hmm. killed it, had a mm-hmm. great time in New York, made some deals happen. I can't wait to see you. I'm like sending some love to my wife on the, on the phone. I'm mm-hmm. leaving her messages, all these beautiful prayers and stuff. Mm-hmm. I land and it says, I will not be picking you up at the airport. <laughs> and that's the day you knew she didn't love you. <laughs> There's more, my friend. There's more. There's more. There's much okay. more pain. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. And okay. I have left you and I'm in an undisclosed oh. location. And okay, got you. It was and, the fool. and I filed the papers for divorce. Gotcha. I did not know it was so, gonna go that dark. You, you should stay away from airports. <laughs> you and airports. Well, you brought up you have to be in love, but she was yeah, out I mean, of love, I mean, and she sure showed it. Yes. Uh, well, so there you go. I had to find my own. The worst part of the story is not the divorce. Not that I she stole all this money. <laughs> I didn't get a I didn't get a ride home. That is the worst. Part. That's the worst part. You know why? I had an Uber yeah. to my own and house. You know why? Then they weren't there when I got there. They were an undisclosed location. She took well, them. I wouldn't let them. That, that's <laughs> tough. That's the. Yeah, that's, tough. That's, that's a little rough. So thanks for bringing that up. You're I appreciate welcome. that question to start off. That's how we start. That's how we started off. We I just started nail it down with... a, a little more. Is once you get off the flight, getting home is another flight in LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm doing another hour. Yeah, you're doing another hour. After doing about five oh, hours, another to get hour here. just waiting for the Uber. So now and, you have to get a bus over to the Uber area and then, then go home. Then you got to wait for the Uber because you can't order the Uber when you're back in the state. So. Yes, it's a long. And this is why process. we do comedy to get it all out. Yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta get it all out. Uh, 
I do it to the point where I don't want to travel anymore. So speaking of that, so yeah. I'm only going to yeah. take gigs in Camarillo. Gotcha. Now. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's the biggest. I would thing. love it if I had a private plane. I thought about I mean, that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be oh, great. Yeah. Let's that'd be do wonderful. that. Let's get to the point where we have a private plane. I'm, we live I'm right with... by the Van Nuys uh, Airport. Yeah, yeah that'd, be great. Private, so. yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Camarillo is that too? Yeah. Have you guys ever flown private? No, no, no Greg. No, oh, no, we haven't. Okay, I'm not gonna rub that in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite a few private planes. business class, first class. Yeah, business class. Yeah, there, yeah, but not, not private. All right, all right. Well, no, don't do that. It's it's I'm, good. It's I'm, good. I'm, if it's a live flat look, seat. Listen, you already made me feel bad. I'm gonna make you feel bad. I'm gonna come back with it. <laughs> Philadelphia. We don't take that. That, 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 makes, sense. Down. that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm not gonna sense. take you bringing up yeah. the worst moment of my life when I get off a plane and they have to love you and she uh, doesn't love me anymore. She apologies. Apologies. No, apologies. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not accepting. That apology. I'm coming right back <laughs> at you. I'm going to tell you, private plane's the way to go. Oh, well, listen, it's a shoemaker you're putting not his at foot the point in your career that you haven't had a private plane. <laughs> shoemaker one, putting one his day. foot down. Yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one time. <laughs> no, one time. I was just with my friend Rocky. He's on the show NCIS. Rocky Carroll, if you know who he is. He's like, mm -hmm. I, it's so funny. I've known him 60. He's been on the show 16 years. I've known him 20 some years. Yeah. I've never seen the show. <laughs> but he told me yeah. the other day, he goes, and I've never seen yours since 95. Yeah. We were flown by Samuel L. Jackson in a private plane, all of us mm -hmm. from here all the way to Bermuda. Oh, that's, that was that that's was, amazing. That was that, yeah, yeah. No, that that's yes. amazing. And, but that the problem with it is, then you want it all the time. Then you, yeah. Then that, when you're yeah. boarding Southwest, <laughs> it's hard to go back. You know, and you're in that cattle line, and you're trying to butt in. You're it's, trying to hide your little. It's, yeah, it's you know, not the same. You have to hi that. hide your your ticket. Yeah. So, so to that's back. not your space here. No, no, it's my space. I, yeah, I don't like Southwest. It's, yeah, it's Never flown with Southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, Never. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's below you. Yeah. Not even that. I just <laughs> everywhere I need to go, Southwest wasn't going. That well, yeah, that's that's fair. Have you ever flown on that uh, Spirit? Uh, the worst. Never Un again. Never again. Now I want you to explain to me why I detest that airline so much. It can't be just that the because it's a Greyhound with wings. I it got takes that. Your spirit. But what it's is it specifically? Why do I have such great resentment when I'm on Spirit Airlines and refuse to go back? By the way, and it, could it be the seat? No, no, it could I'm be. Tell you it why. doesn't. The seat only goes back to a bit. My act about only goes back an inch and a half anyway, and that's <laughs> living, that's living well. This doesn't go back whatsoever. Yeah. Is that the reason I hate it? No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you what why. Is it? Cause you feel like you're being bamboozled. Yeah. You get a, yeah, you yeah. see a cheap ticket. You be like, oh, this is cheap. Then when you get to the <laughs> counter, I gotta pay for my bag. Yeah. I gotta pay for my food. Yeah. I gotta pay for walking on the plane. Water. I gotta pay for using the bathroom. And that's when the price go back. A up. lot of hidden fees. Yep. Like you're yeah, buying man. a damn car. Yeah. I might as well have mm -hmm. a car by the end Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's dangerous. They get away with it, but to me, it was the seat that was the one that bothered it, me the most. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's no first class whatsoever. Yeah. I would mm -hmm. upgrade. And there's no uh, direct flight to Pittsburgh, which upsets me, and that was the only one that went there. I'd rather go through nine different terminals yeah. <laughs> than actually go on Never one again. flight to, to Pittsburgh. Isn't that that's Apparently, Spirit's not going to be my sponsor. There you go. So well, we're going to take them off of, the, off of the list. Well, there you go. So, guys, you started with Dormtainment. Dormtainment, yep. Mm -hmm. In Georgia. Mm -hmm. In Georgia. Both Atlanta, from Georgia. Georgia. Did you know one another before you went to college? None of them. Neither from, from Georgia. Georgia. What's that? None of them are yeah, from Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Just live there. None of you are from Georgia. No. no. But you met in Georgia. In Georgia, yes. At the university. No. No. Okay. At an art institute. At an art institute in Georgia. In, in Georgia. <laughs> in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, that's yeah. the school then. That's yeah. It. But it's you, not a university. Oh, I see. An art institute. Institute, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where so, it's just a lot so of. So you guys, is it all kinds of art? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Graphic design. Mm -hmm. When I was a Film. kid, all we had was you draw Bambi in the back of TV <laughs> Guide. And it, was, it was just art. Yeah, yeah. Or a pirate. Yeah. Or a turtle. Yeah, they had audio, art design. Mm -hmm. They had illustrate. It was, it was yeah, everything. everything, everything. And you're in there in class and like, I don't know if I'm going anywhere with this. <laughs> and No, I mean, that's what you're thinking. I mean. And then all of a sudden, you meet one another. Is the first the, day of school. I can tell you how we met. First day? No, I can yeah, tell yeah. you. Wow. Before that. So um, we went to orientation for the dorms. And when I'm pulling into the parking lot, I see this guy with this big T. Big T-shirt. Big T-shirt. It's him. Yeah, big T-shirt. Thank you for translating. Yeah, it's, it's, huge T-shirt. Not just a T. So yeah, it was no, 2006. Huge, that yeah. was the he style. He left it at T. Yeah, he left it at T. Which makes you go, it was a T-top on his yeah, car. Yeah, no, no, T-shirt. <laughs> was, was he carrying yeah. a chamomile T? Yeah, it looked like, like a big, it looked like a big fitted that. sheet it's, I had on. Okay. It was huge. So I see him, not thinking anything. That's the style. Now it's move-in day. This is like I'd be thinking so. A month later, it's move-in day in the parking lot. I see this guy, big T shades. I'm like. All right, who is this guy? Only had a t-shirt and, and shades. And why That's is it. he always on the go? Every yeah. time I'm coming in, he's going somewhere. Yeah. Well, I'm like, wait, wait, no right. pants? 
I mean, I had pants, but, but the t- it was the same outfit. So big. But the T dominated. Yeah, you the T dominated. Those pants down. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So first day of school, I get lost. I'm very cordial. I'm always on time. I get to the class. I'm the last one there. There's one seat left next to this dude named Figs. So I sit next to Figs. Figs. We, we Short have for Figueroa. Yeah. But he said yeah. my name's Figs. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Figs it is. All right. So we're talking. He like, hey, after the class, he like, you want to meet my friend? I'm like, sure. First day, you need to meet people. I come downstairs. Who's his friend sitting with? The guy with the big T and shades. <laughs> so now. No, don't tell me he's wearing the shades in class. No, no, I didn't wear them in class. Okay, good. In class. He's a shades yeah. guy. Yeah. So I wouldn't be yeah. advancing yeah. that yeah, at yeah. all. No, no, no. And, that- and he's sitting with another guy who will potentially be in our group. Well, became in our group. Yeah, so I'm like, has, all right. Did he have a small T? I can't remember what he was <laughs> okay. wearing. I can't remember what he was wearing. And what's his name? Emmanuel. You got figs. Okay. So you got Rome. I shake Rome's hand, I shake Emmanuel's hand, and then we get all and get on the bus at the end of the day, go back to the dorm. Come to find out Rome lives across the hall from Emmanuel. Mm-hmm. So they're neighbors. Mm-hmm. The next dorm down is mine. They were all in the so same we're hall. all right there, neighbors in the dorm. So it was like it was meant to be. Yeah. We meet on the first day, we're neighbors. We've been together ever since. Yeah. Do you think that you would get to know one another if he didn't have that big T shirt on? I think the big T solidified how yeah. big the friendship would be. Yeah. I think that's what I think that that's was what symbol. it was. It was a yeah. symbol. <laughs> symbol. But I mean that it's a big heart. If he just dressed normally, he wouldn't stand out and maybe you wouldn't have met. Is, is that a possibility? I mean, a possi- maybe. You watch, maybe folks, you gotta watch your fashion. So you really <laughs> have to pay attention it'll really, to your fashion. It'll bring your friends in, you, you know. Can, you it's a magnet. It's a, ma- it's a it's magnet a, it's for a, who you want it to be. It's so a magnet. A, a, apparently Cam liked big T. <laughs> I think he was just in the right place at the right That's, time yeah. each yeah. time. Yeah, Listen, I, honestly. I talk a lot about this, about yeah. the divine, about the mm-hmm. ethereal, about alignment. And, you know, my book is called Get Out of Line and Into Alignment. Mm. You're in alignment. Yeah. And you aligned it up. But you have to be in that alignment to even accept these things into our lives. And this mm-hmm. is why I encourage people to do all the time is listen to that inner voice. Yeah. Yeah. That you had that connection. You listen to the inner voice. You know, I'm going to extend my hand. Oh, my God, what a coincidence. But it's just not. You're right down the hall. And then we tell the people. Crazy, the oh, crazier thing right. is that we all ended up in Atlanta because where we're from didn't have the programs we wanted to yeah. go for. Yeah, yeah. So we all came to Atlanta. Yeah. So there's more divine intervention. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one little detail that you skipped over that I didn't understand. You took a bus from the classroom to the dorms. Usually it's on the same campus and you're no, walking. No, 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 no. Now, see, this art institute. Art institute yeah. was okay. just a building. It's an institute. And for some reason, <laughs> they didn't made have, a, didn't have bars on the yeah, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, they made our dorms like uh, 45 minutes away. Yeah. So we had to take a bus to a train. To a train. train then, Stop. Then a bus yeah. from the train That's to the That's some dorms. dedication to your art. Yeah. They had no that, choice. Had to do it. I guess they were showing you as a harbinger of things to come in the arts. <laughs> in the arts, in the arts, you gotta. You you it's gotta a path. Keep work. Oh, it's a pathway. It's a path. And we're gonna make it as difficult as possible. <laughs> Planes, trains, automobiles. You want to be on this path? Okay. Teach you a lesson. We're gonna give you some good graphic design and all that, mm-hmm. and give you the skills. But you gotta earn it. You've gotta go through the pain if you really want to be there. And it's a metaphor for life. Yeah, yeah, we talk about the proximity, like the power of proximity, all the time. Like had. We not went to that school or had any, mm-hmm. anything could happen. You know what I'm saying? We he, yep. it could have been another group member. It might not have yeah. been the same group. You know, so it's just, I got accepted into another school before that one. So yeah, yeah. easily I mean, one yeah, day. Absolutely. And what did each one of you want to do at that time? What was your goal? Did you have a dream, mm-hmm. a vision of what you wanted to do? I wanted to work for EA Sports and work on Madden because oh. I was just a video game fiend. So I went there for video game design, starting off. But then I switched my major. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. I mean, did were you? Uh, it happened. Were you shown? It. Were you shown the door? I mean, <laughs> were you shown was the it, door? Was it a, uh, no. I mean, was this something that you had to make the switch, or I, uh, I fell out of love with bored? video games? Felt, there you go. So it was yeah. like the passion left me. So I was like, I can't go down this route anymore. So I switched. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I went for audio production. I want to do yeah. sound design for film and TV and movies and all and didn't that end up doing that either. Yeah, still did it. Yeah, within the group. Within everything within the we business. learned, we did it within our group. Yeah. So, That's why we did yeah. everything in-house. Yeah, we did we everything in-house. And everyone anyone. else has another skill set. Yep. Your yep. team has mm-hmm. a done. How, and your Figs is on the team? No, no, no. no, no, no Figs no. wasn't on the team, yeah. Emmanuel? Yes. Emmanuel's on the team. Emmanuel, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still on the team. Yeah, it's still yeah. on the team. You yeah, all yeah, live yeah, together? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yep, yep. What yeah. a fun thing to uh, – they call these influencer houses. I wouldn't say that's what you are. No, no, no. We're just men. You're more of a creative house. Yeah, we're just guys with a house. 
guys with a house with the have creative things in it. <laughs> <laughs> See, creative influencer houses, they're brought together. Yeah, they're brought right. together. That's yeah, right. we yeah. came. Yeah. To LA. And they're, uh, listen, yeah. I mean, I don't want to knock them, and you can knock me back for saying this, but they're not. They're about the agenda. They're about followers, and they're they're not about the work. They're not about you know, the process, they're not mm -hmm. about the creativity, mm -hmm. the connection that you mm -hmm. have with one another. Am I mm -hmm. correct in assuming that? Some, some, I believe, but there are some who are dedicated to the craft, but yeah. it's... Ours we, was a friendship. But yeah. what, what's their craft, though? The craft of, oh, I'm going to smash a beer can on my head no, and get 2,000 million followers. Some want to be filmmakers, so they try to get it. This is their way in the this door. Let's in. just start mm -hmm. filming on yeah. a phone or filming some things, and then. but they have yeah. to discover that. Us, we didn't have, just like the generation before us didn't have certain tools we had. We only had YouTube where there wasn't no Vine. There wasn't no Instagram. Uh, Instagram. There wasn't that. no. We started you with mean, just YouTube. You mean YouTube. this is pre Vine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre yeah, yeah. video oh, on Twitter. We started no 2009. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we started 2009. So we, to me, the 2000s are all the same, by the way. They just all that? run together? For me. Oh, yes, for you. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah everything yeah, for yeah, me starts with a 19. Gotcha. Yeah. 1992. Yeah. In the 1900s. In the 19. I go back to the 1900s. I was born in the 1900s. It sounds like a very long time ago, but yes, I go to the 1900s. That's where all my. I mean, the aughts are a whole other deal for me. <laughs> so you so you set out, you set forth, and you all ended up together in yeah. this union. Yeah. Is there fighting in the union? Is there does anything? Is Cre more more creative? so creative stuff. Yeah, yeah, just like, oh, we want to shoot this this way. Oh, let's shoot it this way. No, we don't want to shoot it this way. But, like, that's really, that's the fighting. When, but that's good. Iron when you're in that, if you're in, a, if you're a couple, if you have a decision to make on which way you're going to direct, it always goes to the woman. Now, how do you guys do this? <laughs> the woman's always the woman's always right. I think whoever has the most passion and the most examples, yeah. like if I'm gonna argue, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you things. You like, wow. This is why I'm not yeah. just gonna say it just based on because we're gonna keep disagreeing. Let yeah. me show you yeah, why yeah, yeah. I feel this is the best way. Yeah. So it was more so a thing of like, for example, how it would work is let's say I have an idea for a script. I go off, write the script by myself bring the script to the guys hey mm. this is what i think we should shoot this week or whatever cool let's break it down hey let's add this joke add this joke oh let's take this away and that's how that's how usually how it works if somebody wants to head the project they head the project and then yeah and you there. mostly deal in short form right am I, am at I the right time at the time we started with at like three five minute skits and then we we started doing longer like 10 skit, minutes like 10 minutes and like 14 15 well and then, <laughs> i'm talking about I I make ninety minutes. Shit, well, you know no, no. I mean, I mean we wasn't I mean, doing that on YouTube. Yeah, we, we that's we, still we, short form to me. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. I mean, it's, it's still short form. I can't even form. think like that. Yes, and it's yes, one of my can. difficulties is, is this society. That's how they think. Yeah. The other day, I thought something was really funny. I had an observation. I was at the Lakers, mm -hmm. and I've been going for years, and I'm very connected there and stuff. But I'm looking in the front row now. When I was growing up, you know who was there, right? Yeah. Jack, Jack Nicholson, Nicholson, Diane Cannon. Yeah. They're all gone. Yeah, they've been replaced by influencers. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. the people. Even yeah. Jack, I thought Jack still gone, wow. gone. I'm sure he's got his tickets, he's, but yeah, doesn't go. Yeah. Mm. But now, he's probably sleepy. Now there's no. <laughs> yeah. Even even a few years ago was Jack Black, and now it's my kids went nuts. ago. this is like some YouTube yeah. guy. Yeah, I yeah. took their picture, I had him turn around. He's in the front row, you know, mm -hmm. on court side. He was real friendly. He's a, a magician. Uh, Asian, it's a, it's a lot of yeah, it, it, Asian of, guy, and I don't know. They went nuts for this, look, and another prank, guy, pranksters, magician, <laughs> things like that. It, it's, it it gets the views. Mr. Beast. It, it, I, watch, I mean, yeah. It's, I'm trying to get my kids. I go, can we watch a classic film from the '80s, Mr. Princess Beast. Bride or some? No, we end up Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah. he puts on a big production. Yeah, he does. He, he does. Mr. He does. Beast, but. Yeah. Did he use? It? Didn't he? Didn't start that way? I'm sure. I mean, you got to work. You have to yeah, work yeah. up. But yeah, I mean, he was always dedicated we watched the behind the scenes like he he was dedicated I, I give it to him he he worked for it but so were you yeah i mean definitely for sure i mean that's what you do yeah and you monetize by youtube views or uh, sponsorships or all the above all the above yeah we didn't yeah. start getting monetization until maybe 3 years after we started how are you paying the bills cuz there was years? Uh, work like other like work. like a like a job like mm -hmm. a job <laughs> what kind yeah. of job did you have Oh, man, I had many. Oh, yeah. man, I worked at Target, Home Depot. Oh, I worked wow. at Best Buy for like three minutes. And meanwhile, and, you're yeah. dealing with these customers <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to be here. Yeah, I, I, I want to be creating something. You're writing something. My last side. job was yeah. a call center. And oh. I remember, so we had got a email from Comedy Central at the time because they seen our stuff. It had went viral. They seen it. They invited us up for a meeting. I knew right then. I was like, well, this is my ticket out of here. I'm never coming back here again. Yeah. 
that didn't happen, so I went back to work. I mean, we did go to Comedy Central. We did a lot of things. It, it was a good. It was a good thing. We it, got wasn't to go. it, was, it wasn't the ticket. It wasn't the ticket. Tick, yeah. But it just it got us thinking in the more industry way because mm. we were thinking YouTube. So then I go to quit my job because I was like, I'm done with this. We're just gonna go all in. I'm quitting. I'm I'm done with this because we started making a little bit of money on YouTube. We can figure it out. I go to quit my job, and when I go to quit, they lay me off. <laughs> And it was better, a, it was actually better because now I got unemployment. unemployment. So I was like, all right, thanks. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, I, literally, you're about to say, and they say, it was like, hey, before you yeah. b- before you go on, yeah, yeah. you're about to say, I'm resigning. Oh yeah, I'm out of here. We're gonna let you go. And I'm like, oh, now I got a fake. Like, oh <laughs> man, okay, shoot, I'm well, I sorry. Saw this is my future. Yeah. <laughs> I was working myself up was, to upper management. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love these phones. I want to continue <laughs> to be on these phones. Call centers are wild. Well, they love me at my oh, job. I've been through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, that's they should do a documentary on artists on the way. You know, yeah. and, and you see them; they've succeeded. Yeah. But on the way, the jobs. That's a very common one is call centers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they're like really, really difficult. You have to put yourself in a mindset that's mm-hmm. the opposite of creativity. You literally read a script literally. that is written for you. That you have yeah. nothing else to say except for what's on the script. Say this, Cubicle say that. jobs are the worst for creators. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they loved me at my job, so I had to quit. And I, they didn't <laughs> lay me off. But what I job did at, you have? I worked at this place called Baracom, and it was like a medical company, and they did like – all of the graphics and videos for like stuff in hospitals and medical. So yeah. I did a lot of editing and graphic work for them. And um, I had a cubicle. And after a while, it just felt like a, a prison cell for me. Yeah. Like I just felt trapped. So one day I went to Target, got a bunch of gift wrapping paper and wrapped it. And I was like, I just need color in here. It was just gray walls. And everyone just started walking by like, I love what you did with it. My boss came. Like, I guess. I was like, hey, this is what I need. To get. I guess. Yeah, yeah you want me I here? got pictures of it, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Crazy. Oh, I got to see yeah, that. Yeah. That's great. We'll have to post those when we post yeah. these podcasts. Yeah, you could, but you need some type of spark. You can't just, mm-hmm. we can't just sit around and be in mundane, yeah. dry things. It just yeah. doesn't work that way. Now, I've never done an interview with two people, so I'm going to go to each one of you individually. Creative process for you. Mm -hmm. Um, What is it for you? We'll start with you, Cam. Like, you come up with an idea. I want to hear about your process from beginning, idea, all the way to, wow, look at all these views. Look at this money. (laughs) So I think it all depends. I guess for a YouTube video, you mean? Anything okay, that you anything. do. Cause it, t- take us through one okay. specific project. I thought okay. of this. This happened. I'll give yeah, you how you're inspired. I'll give you a funny one. Great. But for me, it, it all depends. It's all different styles. But I'll give you one, one YouTube video I did called Living in the Living Room. Because when we first moved to L.A., we all just got a studio, not studio, uh, what's the, penthouse apartment. Yeah. But I was in the living room. And it got to the point where it was like, I never had any alone time where mm-hmm. I had to make a rule. Like after 10 PM, no one can come out. Mm-hmm. I need some time before I go to bed to myself. So I wrote a script about me living in the living room and it all came from real life situations. Yeah, and most sure. of our skits, most of our work all mm-hmm. came from real life Absolutely. situations. Mm-hmm. That makes the best work. The so best, yeah. I just started documenting everything that was frustrating me so I could start writing it. And then I was like, okay, these are funny things. How can I make it creative? So I started making them like taking from different movie scenes. So I took something from Baby Boy. I took something from what other movie I used. I was using all kind of things and just infusing it to make it as entertaining as possible. And it was one of our biggest videos. Yeah. You're, you're, you're cutting these scenes in and you can you can actually use It's actually scenes. just one shot. Huh? We, we actually just did We did it in a one, one shot. shot. So we just left the camera and we choreographed a bunch Everything. of movement. While he just laid on the couch, and we just choreographed different scenes, choreographed like, different scenes <clears throat> from different movies. So you're not taking well, clips from the movies; well, you're I, making the, you're making the movies come alive yourself. That was a mistake. Yeah, I was thinking of another skit, but yeah, it was one scene. I remember yeah. now. It was one scene. I was looking towards the camera. Everything was happening behind my back. Yeah, and I never blinked like, until the end. Like dis- it was disturbing him. So we. Like had people coming in, coming out, like a, a party, party, a party come in, cooking. The party would leave. The yeah. somebody would come in to slam the microwave, do all type of <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah. So it started off with someone coming in, putting popcorn in the microwave. They close it, they walk off, <laughs> and then all this chaos is happening. So yeah. much chaos. Meanwhile, you like, you're in this peaceful space. You hear a pop, 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 not, pop, pop. Not, not even. I'm, it's more parties. It's crazy people right. coming in, arguing, playing games, and then once everyone leaves and it gets quiet. 
he comes back out, the microwave goes off. And he just gets his popcorn. <laughs> and he gets his popcorn. He's like, damn it, I burned it and put another pack in there. <laughs> goes in his room. I'm just about to fall asleep. Then you hear the door slam. I wake back up. And then it goes one off. Shot. And yeah. All how, one how shot. How many cameras is this? One, one. shot. One, camera. one shot, one mm-hmm. camera. Just choreography. Yeah. This, everyone choreography. had to hit their marks. Was it pre right choreographed? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we had to go over it. Yeah, oh, yeah, we had to go and over rehearsed. It. Yeah, and rehearsed. Yeah, yeah. you mm-hmm. come in here, you go here. Mm-hmm. How about yeah. this? Oh, no. I had it for one scene. I had to come in, and then the way the apartment set up, we had like a balcony. So I had to come in, go out the front door, run, jump over the balcony, so I could come through for the next. <laughs> it was yeah. crazy, but it was fun. We'll show you because it's only like a it's minute, like, like a minute and a half. Like, it's a short yeah. skit, but short it did, skit, yeah. did great. Yeah, well, yeah it sounds and, like well, you brought the, all of the energy. To Mm-hmm. Just into that mitten and a, yeah, and a yeah. half, and it was just sounds like it was so choreographed and yeah. creative. I think I don't know if you guys consider yourself really fortunate to find one another and find mm-hmm. your other teammates. Mm-hmm. I work alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is really, you know, once in a while I'll I'll run jokes by someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually it's early in the morning, so I have to go back east. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did it the other day. I go, yeah. yeah. What do you think of this? What was my joke? I said, and I made a little meme, but that's the way it. it my creative juices, yeah. you know, first of all, they do flow in the morning, but I have no one to feed mm-hmm. back. And especially these days, if you found um, the cancel culture, yeah, yeah. And, uh, the woke mm-hmm. and all that kind yeah. of stuff, is that, what was it? My, I said, uh, if I change my pronoun to her, why still be, what, will it still always be my fault? <laughs> I got a little laugh. But that's not, that's, that's not, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, you were, you were a good cancel for that. You that's actually funny. For that. And, <laughs> that's funny. You never know. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, I you, you so. do never know. But I had I think another, that's I had funny. another one that it was so innocent. It was a true story. Like as you guys said, it's the yeah. truth. Yeah, the truth is the best. I mean, Absolutely. that's the best comedy. Absolutely. And I, I have a really hard time with uh, my texting. First of all, I have big okay. thumbs. I messed that up. Yeah, yeah. Plus, the voice to text doesn't understand me. <laughs> so this woman that I met online for the dating, mm-hmm. it came across, she says, you know, that she doesn't work anymore. And I said, are you officially retired? Yeah. And I didn't look at it. I didn't <laughs> I know what you say. <laughs> so I posted, it came out, are you officially retarded? <laughs> right? Now, now you're laughing, but you're also going, oh, that's going to get you canceled. And sure enough, Rosie O'Donnell went off on me. R- remove this, take this down. You don't know what it's like. I have a daughter, da, 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 da. And I know her personally. I text her. I go, yeah. you're the reason, this censorship is the reason <laughs> the comedy has a hard time. Yeah. You don't yeah. get, I'm not punching down. I'm not yeah, talking yeah. about I made a mistake. Who, yeah. This is my mistake that yeah. I am saying, look at me, laugh at me, what an idiot I yeah, am that yeah. I didn't proofread. has yeah. nothing to do with the R word. Yeah. And by the way, in the text back to me, she used the R word. <laughs> my, my that's issue. the irony so anyway she doesn't speak to me anymore my Rosie. Issue and I ripped that's it down funny. by the way she told me to tear it down and I did yeah Rosie O'Donnell we go back to teenagers yeah yeah. my issue with cancel culture is are we doing it for people to actually learn or we just want to cancel people because say if I posted something 10 years ago and you see behavior of me never mentioning that not talking about that anymore I would assume that's growth so why am I getting canceled for that if I'm not that person anymore? Isn't that the whole That's point so of mean. you want me to grow and become a better person, or is it just to cancel me? Well, now I can't evolve. I can't grow because you stop my growth. You stop my career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they can literally take your career. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. For, for sure. no reason whatsoever. Yeah. It's their ego. And by the way, every, and I'm going to go every, every single one of them are guilty of what they're projecting onto you absolutely every one of them is guilty of some sort of prejudice or absolutely some ism some phobe yeah they absolutely. all have it yeah yeah even if it's the phobe is they're, they're they're afraid of themselves or they're afraid of their thoughts yeah there's a phobe going on there there's a phobe yeah. but they're going to project it they're going to tell me i'm a something phobe i'm not i'm not you can just ask me yeah just Talk to me. Yeah, talk that's to it, me. Yeah, that's it. But people don't want to talk. Communication is the hardest thing for oh, people. Oh, they make that assessment. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I watched a guy the other day. I was a big lefty, right? Mm-hmm. Big time. Like what you would call a liberal. And I left. Oh, I thought you meant baseball. or something. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a switch hitter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like ambidextrous. Yeah, okay. metaphors Okay, here. gotcha, gotcha. And I, I left because oh, of yeah. the intolerance, because gotcha. of the Rosies of the world. Gotcha. Who gotcha. makes it her raison d'etre to go after Trump. I say, you want to empower Trump? You want to have him go to the presidency? Keep talking about him. Oh, yeah. he uh, Keep he, trying he to cancel that. him oh, yeah. and watch how Beetlejuice or whatever yeah. it is, how th- that gives the power. Absolutely. And I'm not into that. 
I'm not into giving people the power like that. I'm not into projecting my mm-hmm. stuff. I'm going to work on my stuff and listen and be aware. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, have, I, I heard there's this one word that I've used before. I can't say it anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can say it in this way. <laughs> <laughs> because what I'm about to say yeah, uh-huh. is referring to <laughs> something else. So, yeah, yeah. So when I was growing up, and this is a true story, <laughs> if, if, I, if you blew a tranny, it wasn't in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one, you, you, you mean, know, you can go you, down that route. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, but that's, the route is, it's a transmission. That's solid. That's, see, that's good. Yeah, that's, see, that's, but that's what I'm good. saying is, you can't cancel me for using a bad word because I used it in the context. In the context, yeah. Just like we have homonyms galore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. just like, you know, pair and pair, P A R, P A R, you know. Whatever it is, it's your intention. English is a wild language exactly, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense most of yeah, the time. Yeah. So now when you're coming up with all of these new terms, yeah. and you're going to condemn someone for not keeping up, for not, where's the dictionary? Where is yeah, the new, yeah. you know, Webster's? What, yeah. so that, it's, 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 I, and here's my big thought. Is I think it's so theoretical, all this stuff that's going on. Mm-hmm. And it has never been proven in history mm-hmm. that some of this stuff will Got work. Got you. And yeah, I, I think see, comedy is you're meant to push the line. It's That's supposed, what comedy yeah. is for. Exactly. To see how far you can go or make light of the hard topics yeah. so we can digest it. But to me, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Don't watch just it. Or, different or, comedians for different it. people. Just don't watch yeah, it. Or DM me and say, hey, that you know, here's what bothered me about that. Yeah. Not accusing me of being in a certain way. So or I'm going to cancel your whole career. Exactly. Over this, but, but your projection is going to have my whole career canceled. I have this gigantic body of work. That makes people laugh. Yeah, literally. A lot of people laugh, not yeah. punching down, but really that we're all one. Yeah. And you're going to take this little microcosm that you misinterpreted because mm-hmm. you're not mm-hmm. understanding the language mm-hmm. or what's behind it. And now an entire, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Have you guys had it happen to you? Have you had uh, people to try to? No, just like, we'll, we'll get like a bad comment or it's like, you know, somebody will say something like, oh, this is uh, this inappropriate, is a, inappropriate, yeah. you know, something like that. But we never had nobody be like, oh, you're canceled. No. I not. think you only can be canceled if you let them cancel you. No, just man. keep going. Yeah. Like, well, for sure. Because there's but, certain people that you, you know, you you expect them to say wild things. So you already can't cancel them. But right. most of the time, I feel like if you just keep going, it's gonna be something else that happens. What's the and they intent? Move on. Of, what is the intent of these people? And don't they understand that Richard Pryor and George Carlin oh, would have been long That's gone? Oh era. yeah, they you never would have heard a word from you. That. Never would have heard. I think anything. they just like the power of being able to cancel. Yeah, you. yeah. Because I'm mean, like, they don't want change. They don't yeah. care about you growing, so it has to be just the power to cancel. Yeah. And the irony to me is, you're in support of the what quotes the man. Yeah. The corporations, government. You're supporting them by doing this. You're doing the work for them. Because they're the censors. Oh, I see what you're saying. They're yeah, really yeah, the yeah, censors yeah, yeah, that are yeah. out there. Literally, there's there's ratings of movies. There's things you can't say mm-hmm, on television, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And these are you know, people like Carlin literally did the words you can't say, the forbidden words. Mm-hmm. He was the first to do that. Yeah. And now they're, now they're creating this new space, this safe space that's yeah. unsafe. Yeah. If you li- can't create, it's unsafe. And but it- I think it'll come back. Oh, I think everything no, like, if, it, if it gets if it gets really sensitive, then it's everyone's gonna be like, I want I want more of the crazy. But so people are getting back. mad because movies are getting bad because they're not letting people just do what they're supposed to do, and they're trying to push certain a- agendas and things like that. So now people are like, Hey, man, let's just get back to let's just get back to creativity. Like, let's get yeah, back to yeah. it. Like, it, it's it's not worth all this extra that we're trying to do and i mean hey, well, i want to hear you i want to hear yeah. your take now i'm i'm uh mostly white you're mostly white <laughs> what what's mostly 14 percent african okay so you know i can see it that's why i was in the eyes <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah i can see it in the eyeballs that's yeah. what i can see that's <laughs> so and clear you both are probably 90 at least 90 percent right? uh, 88 I mix with black and beautiful, so it's, <laughs> it's both. Yeah, yeah. That hasn't been proven yet. <laughs> That's a theory, I, I, is it? A theory. See, I said everything's theoretical. <laughs> We're going to see if that plays yeah. out, that you really are beautiful. <laughs> Your take yeah. mm-hmm. is from that perspective on this, let's call it the diversity quotient that's mm-hmm. going on right now, the mandates there in Hollywood that you have yeah, to yeah, have yeah. diverse. Now, I'm going to give you mine after you go first. Okay. Of my take, my yeah. perspective, coming from this place yeah, of yeah. 
who I am and what I look like, my yeah. background. Yeah. I want to hear yours in this, just to take on the mandates and the diversity. Yeah. What is your thoughts on that? I'm not mad. I had started this joke about how I think they need to bring racism back to TV. <laughs> <laughs> it was more interesting. Was, yeah, I was like, we got to bring racism back to TV because, you know, I think they had this new Sex in the City that was out or something like that. And there's this, you know, group of white girls. And then there's just one black friend here. And I'm like, she don't hang with them. Like, like look, we had we let's get let's get real. She don't hang with them. Yeah. She doesn't know them. We gotta bring racism back. We gotta we gotta bring it back. You to TV. hit it on the nail. <laughs> I don't even have to speak now. I watch commercials and I my kids laugh at me. I go, here we go. Here we go. Bring in the Asian trans. And I say those words. I go, these people would never be in the same room. <laughs> They would never be at a party we together. Need, need, like, here's the it's thing. It's phony There's, and it's false, and people are going to catch up to it there, and already have. That's why you yeah. say it's swinging the other way. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. phony. It's false. It's Hollywood, yeah. Tinseltown, all about the shine. All about, yeah. Here's the mandate that we're going to follow. Meanwhile, they don't in their own hearts. They know this yeah. is absolute. People know mm-hmm. it's bullshit. Yeah. They know that you just cast this just to make it look good. Just to make it look like it's virtue signaling. Like they, so they, you get it too. You said the same words I say. Like yeah. if they did a commercial with two young black guys and an older white man doing a podcast, that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, it'd be, it would be ridiculous. <laughs> what a, that Can would never happen. That? Can you imagine that? What is wrong with that, people? That's that, that, exactly that, what they said when we walked into that pizza shop. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like, what's going on here? Did Hollywood put them together? <laughs> What's the agenda? Is this a prank show? What's going on? No, no. I, listen. We had a meal he, together, did, and the, the whole neighborhood was all up in arms. Going, now, this has got to be some script. That's a, no, he There's our cameras them. around. He, he, he Look at these. They them. don't belong together. Yeah, He's an he, older white man. He adopted these them. Young, yeah, he buck, adopted them. He adopted them. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Black, man, there beautiful. Go. black and beautiful. <laughs> Here he is. There's no way this is together. This is absolute bullshit. He's I a call great bullshit. man. He adopted them. <laughs> gave them a better life. But I, I adopted them. He's a great man. That's what it was. Yeah. I adopted you. Yeah. How do you think he got that Porsche out there? He, yeah. oh, hey, this is a little he racist. Be... How come you couldn't adopt me? Yeah. He must be married. Oh, it has to... to be the other way. Oh, here we go. Different strokes. Oh, okay. It's got to be that way. What about the reverse? We should make that skit. No, we should make that. You adopt me. Places. Listen, Straight I'm, the one, I'm places. the one with the, the <laughs> wife left. I have no wife anymore. I'm, I'm no, home, at that moment, I'm, they I'm was like, you're this. married to either Angelina Jolie or Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Theron. Theron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, but here, like, honestly, seriously, it, it like... <laughs> Certain, <laughs> certain, <laughs> some of these situations. We have to do, have to do that. Yeah, bit. certainly, uh, some of these situations you can. About, okay, cool. They do have friend groups where people hang out, but I see what you're saying. Like they try to push it so, 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 it. so, so much. You're like, all right, we we get it, guys. We we understand. We people get along. <laughs> we yeah. we we. Get I have it. all kind of friends. I got gay friends. Yeah, I got all I have, that. Sure, I have all that, but. I see what you're saying on TV. It's this. It feels obvious. Yeah, yeah. It's, it doesn't feel natural. Th- that, that it's not natural. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I've always said the best stuff that you've ever done, the best stuff I've ever done, yeah, yeah. is authentic. Absolutely. It mm-hmm. comes from the truth. Absolutely. So if it's truthful that that's what you have at yeah. a party and that's what's going on in the back where you're trying to chill, you know, the, mm-hmm. the bit you just talked yeah. about. Yeah. If those are the people that are cast, then those are the real people. Yeah. They are the real people. Yeah. But when you're a script writer. And you've never even experienced this party that you're writing about. It's definitely going to feel. You've never experienced a party with that casting call yep, and that yep. casting call. It, it's just it comes across as as it's not truthful. And what yeah. we're saying is the best art is truthful. It has some. It has of a voice. course, it's exaggerated from that point yeah. forward. That's yeah, where yeah. the art comes in. Yeah. yeah. But there's yeah. something organic to it. Yeah. And people are smelling it right now. Yeah. I they think are. that's. I think Denzel put it the best when he was explaining how like Scorsese does. The, all the mob movies. He's Italian. It makes yep, sense. It's it a culture, it. or yeah. yeah. And how he was like, uh, Denzel's explaining like this black movie they were doing. Like we know the smell of a hot comb on a <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> so it was a different experience yeah. when this director or this writer yeah. is writing yeah. about. And that. you can feel it. You're like, oh, he that like, makes sense. Now yeah. he said yeah. like yeah. A, a great director could have did Goodfellas, but it wouldn't be a, the same as yeah. what Martin did because not he's with Italian. The texture, it's his culture. Yeah. Not with the nuance. Yeah. Not with those little. He put his mother in it. Yeah. Exactly. Little, I mean, she was brilliant in that part. Remember the mother yeah. in Goodfellas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's his real mom. Exactly. Yeah. So she brings that gravitas to it. She mm-hmm. brings that experience to it. You don't have to coach her. And it's if you not just, an acting job. You just know it. Yeah. If you no. just put some other mom in mind, you'd be like, oh, well, playing the part. Yeah, 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 there's this little part where you're going, eh, yeah, yeah. You know, not yeah. quite, not quite there. It, when it's authentic, as a matter of fact, my guest who you just met, mm-hmm. D. Wallace mm-hmm. in ET, as one of the 
most incredible iconic scenes mm -hmm. when she cries about the father, you know, mm -hmm. leaving. And, and she told us an inside story on that, that she broke down and left. And, and it wasn't part of the script. Mm -hmm. And Spielberg is so brilliant. He said, quickly, in 30 minutes, build me a set where she's going to end up. They had to build a set in 30 that's, minutes. That's, yeah, that's wild. And they took it over to there. Yeah. I was like, whoa. You, it was all from her being authentic. See, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all it was. That's where it comes from. That's what it came from. That's what her spirit told yep. her, that mm -hmm. it directed her. And that's what we're really tapping in. By the way, where are you guys in the spiritual realm of life? I mean, call it spirituality. Call we it, in it. Yeah, we yeah. In it. yeah, we in it. Yeah, and do you have a practice? In it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be honest. That's why I dig you guys, because I already knew the answer to that, but yeah. now they do. <laughs> so I, I connect with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I either do or I don't. Yep. And I know the ones that I want to hang with. Yep. And now I talked to Dia also about this. It's a rarefied air, and you guys were so lucky to meet one another yeah. in that yeah. higher realm of space. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people understand it. Yeah. yeah. It's just there. Yeah. And that's where the authenticity comes in. That's where the truth comes in. Because what you're writing now is from that. And yeah. not like, I have to do this because of this. Oh, look at the, look at the, now the, the look at the numbers and views. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. how they're deciding uh, you know, how, our, how our art manifests mm -hmm, itself. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. These yeah. bean counters are, oh, I've watched it happen. I'll go to meetings and go, how many followers does he have? Oh, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll name it now. Yeah, that's yeah. how you get your opportunity, man. Oh, yeah. man. It's mm -hmm. tough. It's tough. That sucked the wind out of, it's out tough. of creativity. And I like long form, and I guess it's gone, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's gone. I don't know. Gone. There's still some good stuff out there. It's, just, it's, it's, movies, it's rare to show. find those good pieces. Like, he writes down stuff where he sees, like, all right, this movie has good review. Let me, like, he really takes his time going through yeah. movies now because you don't want to waste your I don't time. Waste my like, time. just watching nonsense. I like, got a list on my phone. Yeah. The like, movies either I watched already or I want to watch. Yeah. Based on my research. So I don't think it's gone. You I researched think researched the movie. You got to. I researched restaurants. Yeah. I yeah. want to eat the best too. Absolutely. When I'm, uh, I'm Absolutely. Gonna look, I'm going to yeah. yelp it and see, oh, this is what I want to eat. Let me see yeah, what this they're is. The, the slice place? We were looking at it. We were like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you that's actually symbolic is and, I, I'm I'm more old school. I'm going to tell you about that. Oh, no, and that's, and, and but that was that, the, that's confirmation. That's the that's confirmation. Exactly right. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you Parma's amazing pizza. I'm going to tell you the vitamins I'm about to give you are amazing. Yeah. Here, I got to get some shit. No, I don't have any problems getting it up. It's fine. It, uh. it's, this isn't that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh. I investigated Viagra. Oh, I, I went okay. to the pharmacist. I said, <laughs> can I get it over the counter? He goes, yeah, if you take two or three. <laughs> <laughs> Cam was slow on that joke. Rome got it right away. If you take two or take three. Take two more, you get it over the counter, you get it over the shelves. That's why. Because I had a joke come out like when you, you couldn't get it up, that's when you adopted us. <laughs> <laughs> no more kids. I was waiting for no, mom No, 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 you're adopting me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, that's straight. right. We got to get it right. We got to get it right. My bad, my bad. My bad. These are biotech vitamins. Mm -hmm. What's this one? You, listen, it just gives you a boost of energy. It mm -hmm. makes you strong. Look, you, gotta, you guys... Well, one of you could use a little work with the weights. <laughs> hey, I'm in there now. I'm he in there. there. He in there. He in there. Been there three months. It's, they it's gave me a compliment yesterday. Yeah, My arms getting bigger. <laughs> you have to embrace change. That's, <laughs> what, that's <laughs> what your shirt says. But these are. This is one of our sponsors, Biotech. Okay. Phenomenal. Okay. I'll give you on your way out. We'll get you some more vitamins. All right. Okay. Cool. How fast did this go? It, I mean, it's we could talk for it. Hap you know it happened it before yeah. when yeah. I was on your podcast, it and it was such a wonderful surprise when you meet these people in your life we just go wow man you just spent an hour of connectedness mm -hmm. of creativity of higher consciousness and it just happens now and yeah. then in life and you just got to go hey thank you but you I, know, I, I, always, I felt okay. like you haven't had a good interview in a while where you kept looking at us when we was asking you questions you was like he was, like, how, he was like, you guys did some research, huh? You, I'm like, oh, dude, I absolutely. do remember that. Yeah. So I'm like, As opposed to you're on my podcast, I've done none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said Georgia, yeah. and I had he the said, wrong name of Dormitation. It's, it's fine. It works. It's it works. It but you, funny. but you, uh, you attract who you are, and like, and you, yeah, you yeah, are just yeah. in that that embodiment, that vibration, like you said. It's so when you yeah. came. We all just felt it, and we, it was just like, this is great. This it was, was such a pleasant surprise. We were perfect strangers. I didn't know anything about you. Yeah. I just showed up at this house. I'm going, what's with this house? <laughs> they all live here. Here comes one yeah. out in his yeah. PJs. Yeah. I mean, what, what is this? Yeah. 
And then I got to see it's this creative house. And I'm going, man, I would like one of these. Mm-hmm. I try to do it with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, Dad, no, stop. No, no, Dad, Dad, stop filming. Hang out with you no more. <laughs> I should show you. I do have something. My, my daughter is nuts. <laughs> and she came down with this outfit yesterday. Yeah. It was the craziest looking thing you've ever seen. And my son was playing bass. He was her gotcha. backup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was her backup. And they just made this little, this little thing that happened. It was just so filled with spark and energy. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like. But I don't have to film it and put it up there and go try to get views. Yeah, that's yeah. that's where I have a hard time. Yeah. yeah. Can it just exist in its own space? Can it just be in this presence that we had today? It's a tough balance, yeah, for sure. And then let it go. Let and me who ask knows how this. many views we're going to get for this? Yeah. I got a question for yeah. you. How do you think things would have been different if Instagram was around in the 90s? Oh, wait. Because I always wonder that. Man. Like, how many people would have got in trouble? Well, I mean, oh, like, what sure. would we have seen? All I these can, stories? I can speak personally. Mm-hmm. And I just had a talk with a guy who's a long time in the business today. I'm a very long time in the business. And I went to a nice high level. Mm-hmm. I did it without internet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If the internet was around, I don't know that I would have been that successful. Why? Because of all of the people with the guns out. And, uh, you know, when they're yeah, yeah, yeah. once once that then now you're in defense mode as opposed to I'm in not offense mode, although I offend people. But you can't just be free. And you free. can't be yeah. free yeah, and yeah. creative when people are analyzing every move that you make. And that's I think true. that's, that's sad. I think it's a sad testament of what's going on today and the scrolling that goes on in the, yeah. the, the ADD and yeah. all of that. Where I'm going, here's some long form. I do a 90 minute show at least, mm-hmm. and people go, "How in the world do you do that?" I said, "Because this is like channels through me. This is my yeah, art. It's easy work for I me. Feel, yeah. I feel that's what makes the stories better from the 90s because it's, it's <laughs> no documentation. You just got to hear it. You got to hear about and it. it. Ooh, it's good like, point. It makes it exciting because they paint the picture, and you just got to visualize. And it. now it's like, let me Google it. Yeah. And storytelling is the yeah. oldest art form, and it's just it's still exactly. here. It's still here. Mm-hmm. People in, don't realize in a different it, form. In a different form, but it's still here. Yeah. Yeah. It, but I, I wonder, do you think the long form will come back? Like, I, I can't even think of great movies in the last 10 years. Can you? Can you give yeah, me some really Parasite good Parasite was phenomenal. Parasite, Parasite, was, Parasite didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, you should watch it. That was Wonderful. Good. Like, like up there in watch? top films of all that time. It won the Oscar for Best Picture. Not going to lie to you. I mean, uh, Top Gun was a really good top movie. Top Gun 2? That yes. was a really that good movie. They did this one. really well. Yeah, it was, but are you going? You putting it up there with like E. T. Are you putting? I mean, it up you there can't. Well, not of all time. Not of all time. But, but like you just said, in the last ten years. In yeah, the last ten years. Has, solid, it, has there been an all time movie? Oh, an all time movie. No, I'm talking about classics. Like a classic, classic. How it, how are any of these films hmm. going to end up to be a classic? And I am willing to hear any of them. What about Avatar? Avatar might be. Uh yeah, I'll go with that. You know, uh, it's still, some of the Marvel stuff. Like, no, 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 it's, no, no. You're not gonna get me there. No, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's like like end game. It's in game is crazy. Not, not uh, that, that that has to be put up there. It can't be. What you mean? It's it the, can't that's be. That's the first time you've seen all of these characters. I don't on care. Screen. I don't care about any of them because they're all made up. Parasite. They're all made up. All movies. I mean, movies yeah, yeah, Parasite. Is that a? What was that about? It was a Korean film. That's right. Yeah, and it was yeah, about yeah. a family that infiltrated good. another family and that, took over it. It was phenomenal. Yeah, that, that yeah, was good. Yeah, I, I, anyway, I will watch that. Mm-hmm. But still, is that Gandhi? Is that Dances with Wolves? Braveheart? Oh man, Braveheart. Okay, what about that? Is a, Apocalypto? Did you like that? I didn't see that. I started to watch it. Wasn't mm-hmm. into it. Mm-hmm. I like. I think Mel Gibson's a great director. I yes, think. Oh, is. how about Clint Eastwood? He makes one great movie after. He the next. looks like a skeleton. Like he is a legit skeleton. He is ninety thousand years old. I know. <laughs> By the way, I've been with him a number of times. He has a gigantic head. <laughs> and, I, and I do too. I do too. It's a pumpkin on a broomstick. It's a at this pumpkin point. on a broomstick. It is uh, the size of that head. It's because his how body's small. It. That's how he made it, by the way. The size heads of his head. make it on film. Oh, well, I need Humphrey to. Humphrey Bogart, Giant gotcha. Head, Clark Gable. Uh, by, by the way, there's another classic, Gone with the Wind. And they want to go way now, back you, then. But here's the thing. I'll be honest. Listen, when you watch some of those, around back then. when you watch some of those <laughs> no, movies, like, it was classics. a good, it's a good movie. Like when you watch some of those film noirs and those, when you watch some of those movies, Bogart, they what, what? I had a whole class. Are, are you giving me the? Are you giving me the race? The racial stuff? No, no, no. They oh. just what? some of them be like, oh, okay, this was good, but it ain't like. What? How people are screaming, raving about it. They be good, but not. Gone with the Wind was good. Gone with the Wind is fine. But some of those classics, that people, oh, there's a classic. If you go Casa back and Blanca, watch it. Casablanca was good. Go back and watch it. It's hard oh, to hold another. up. Yeah, Casablanca oh, was Casablanca. Absolutely brilliant. That's great. Brilliant. That's great. A brilliant. A brilliant piece of work. 
like is a classic that being done now. Like a classic Ninja Turtles. I can't go back and watch that. It's not the same anymore. <laughs> it was a classic when you watched it. It, it was a classic time. when I watched it. I watched it with my kids. They're going, <laughs> oh my God, if you, you could introduce <laughs> me to Donatello. Or whatever. I'm going to tell you why it's not good movies anymore. Because every executive is scared. They get oh, in position. Yeah. yeah. And they're yeah, scared yeah. to lose their job, so they don't go with the fresh idea. They're just gonna do a remake. Cause it's some remake. great ideas. That's why the there. '90s was so good. It was also so many original yeah, ideas. Just, yeah. That's why you can't bring me the Avengers. <laughs> you can't possibly <laughs> no. take it back. But that's I'm not tough. even a big take comic book guy. But, that, but that's tough but that, to do. What those they did are things is people, tough. They they wanted that since they were like, kids, and they got it. They and they got, got like, it right. They got it right. It's the last thing that Marvel got right. No. I'm telling you. None of it's right. They're made up characters. There's it's a lot with, of made up. Blanca's there's made nobody up. Nobody with machete fingers coming at you. I want to think. <laughs> that's Edward Scissor's hand. Yeah, that's Edward Scissor's No, Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> oh, <he's... laughs> Did I mix him up or something? Yeah, I mean, no, that's no, right. That works. I got that one right. Yeah, yeah, I got that one right. Yeah, yeah. I did a movie uh, with um, Professor Xavier. Oh, okay, okay. You know yeah. who Patrick Stewart is? Yeah, yeah. And the first day in the set, my Patrick Stewart is not that Patrick Stewart. It's Star, Mine Trek. Is Star, Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's I grew up watching that. Yeah. My so dad. the first made up character I played is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this: That is true. If Marvel, <laughs> if, true. if Marvel called you to be in the Avengers, would you do it? Yeah, you go. Yeah, you, yeah, I'd you do, do it for do it. free. <laughs> I'm not saying. Look, Man, I've been in a porn. Funny. I just said it. I've wait, been in a porn. Wait, what? I know we're supposed to be ending this episode. What? You can't left, end like that. Left, tell what the story, are you saying? Hurry up. Tell it quickly. Hurry, we only got 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> let's go. I can't leave it like that. Yeah, you yeah, can't you leave, it like that. leave it like that. Uh, yeah, I did a porn. So wait, no, porn. no. Wait, hold on. Porn. No CGI. <laughs> you no did Sora, it or no you? Sora? I did show my blackness. Okay. <laughs> that's great. That's this. I did. <laughs> I did bring it. That's good. I like that. Wait, so you are. Want to hear a true story? Should I really tell this? Yeah. This is supposed I'm, to be a spiritual show. That is it? I mean, you. The turn around. You, you Jack, been taken away from that. You, I absolutely. Because you can't just say that. This is how you end it. Tell me in my ears. Should I tell this story? Should I end this program? This is how we end it. What should I do? Should I? I think they just left. <laughs> I think that's how bad they don't want to hear this. Let's Nobody this, wants to put, hear my porn. But yeah, she said we have to wrap. Let's all put right, this. All right. Oh, all right. Okay. How about I say, let's you, put well, you got to tell us after. Yeah. No, I'll tell you on the next podcast. Oh, come on. You can't leave us I'll, hanging that I'll long. Tell you on the next podcast. It is a crazy story. All right. But all right. It was a classic film. Okay. It was a classic <laughs> film. It was my first film. Yeah. I did it because I wanted film of myself. Okay. That's fair. So I went into denial that this is not porn. I'll tell you another time. It is That's a funny, funny. story. All right. Okay. Oh God, I'm exhausted. Man, we leveled up. You, you still didn't. You still didn't give me a good classic in the last ten years. I, Parasite. We, the Parasite. Avatar. And Marvel's Parasite. Endgame. Parasite. I can't. I have to reject that. <laughs> Parasite. I'm going to reject on a different reason. We don't know it's a classic what until later on. Yeah, you won't know until later on. Avatar. Honestly. I will give you that. Probably will last. Made up generations. Characters. Made up characters. That's right. I take it back. No, that's not included either. <laughs> Parasite then again, the Wizard phenomenal. of Oz, those are some made-up characters. That's what I'm saying. You well, can't they're, they're, be like they're, they're, that. Now, that's reality. I've met those people. Lollipop right. Guild, I've seen them everywhere. Matrix it's is fine. a classic made-up character. <sighs> okay. Rocky's even made up, yeah, in a way. Oh, <laughs> stop there. Stop. He's real. He's real. Stop you. Okay, I, okay. That, there, you went over the line. <laughs> you, so you, you went over the line. Philadelphia, <laughs> over the line. He's about to be getting a lefty again. <laughs> <laughs> you went, uh, so Paul. So Paul. Adrian. Rosie going to get mad oh, at you oh, his, talking yeah, like his that. Consonants, that. His consonants. His consonants. Just, <laughs> just amazed. Rosie's going to be mad. <laughs> he's doing I, it again. He's the R word. Rocky. Anyway. All right. All right. Great to see you guys. Thank you. How do we follow you uh i mean we have a few different things you can follow our new brand high frequency h-e-y-e frequency um highfrequency.com mm. uh <coughs> wellness brand we're trying to just raise the frequent collect the frequency wow. of those around us so we all can be on the same plane together can you please bring me in on this stuff Absolutely. this is my world I know, I know you love this stuff i love this stuff i, I know you need to be how about, how about bring me in as a character og cranky oh <laughs> og cranky <laughs> You can follow us personally. <laughs> Mine is at I Rome a lot. I R O M E a lot. Mine is Cam from D T C A M F R O M D T. And uh, yeah, yeah. And where do we come up with our own together? Oh yeah. yeah. 
at some point. OG Cranky Rome Cam. <laughs> OG Cranky Rome Cam. OG Cranky Rome Cam. That no. comes right off the. Thank you for having us. Though. Thank you for ha- being here. Yeah. Uh, make sure you uh, like us and spread the word and comment and all of that. All that good stuff. Yeah, it's still standing up. We're all still standing up, even though we're sitting down right yeah, now. Yeah. We're all still standing up, aren't we? And here we're here to share creativity, inspiration. Everything to kind of uplift the world. We need to be elevated right now. And these two are elevated. I love playing with you guys. Let's do some more. I'll see you next time.